Welcome back to Wasteland 2. So we just helped Tom out with his problem with the raiders. But instead of continuing to go out this way and kind of spread out further and further, I wanted to come back to kind of the beginning hub area here. Where we have three different ways to go. So let's start back from here and start to work outwards. Let's first go to where the shadowy, shady figure wanted us to follow him. And he's almost certainly leading us to a trap of some sort, but I'm curious. Great, right this way. Gotta stay out of sight of the monks. Uh-huh. Gotta stay out of sight of the monks because you intend to kill me, which is illegal? Actually, no, it wouldn't be illegal because we, we actually haven't paid our tribute yet. Now that I think about it. Okay. No, well, there seems to be nobody here. All right. What is it? Good, good. Yeah, nice. Glad to meet you, Rangers. I represent an outfit here in the so-called safe zone. We're called the Diamondback Militia. I think we might share some ways of thinking, some philosophies, you know? You're new here, so you might not know the situation, but I'm hoping we can work together. What's the situation? Status quo for the last few years has been as such. The Mad Monks live in the Temple of Titan, so-called because they worship a Titan II intercontinental ballistic missile as their god. The temple is actually an old missile silo with a live nuke to boot. With that firepower, they ensure everyone in the canyon follows their rules. Anyone gets too far out of line, and they threaten to blow the damn nuke and wipe this whole place off the map. Tell me more about the Mad Monks. Servants of the Mushroom Cloud? Yeah, probably nothing new here that I didn't know. What they really are are psychopaths. So, okay, so these Diamondback Militia want to get rid of them. The Mad Monks. And to be fair, they do sound pretty mad. But I don't exactly trust a shadowy figure wielding an SMG and a mask over his face more than the Mad Monks. Tell me about the Servants of the Mushroom Cloud. The name's just a fancy way of saying crazy. Who or what is Titan? I'm serious. It's an honest-to-goodness ICBM with a live nuclear warhead. Not good. Not good. On that we agree. What are the monk's rules? And that's where things get really nutty. The monks ask each traveler for tribute. Uh, basically a toll. Each group is asked to give something particular to them. Usually traders just have to give up a few items from their inventory. But sometimes the monks get inventive and ask for weird stuff. Now, whoever promises to give to get uh, to give tribute gets an escort to the temple, and anyone with an escort is considered protected. The escort will fight to the death to protect their charge. Makes sense so far, right? Problem is, these monks are in a hell of a rush to die and carry nuke grenades to speed the reaper along. And once your monk escort is dead, you're fair game for the next scumbag who wanders by. And if that scumbag has a monk escort, no one can interfere without the monks getting mad at the Samaritan. Not so, right? Wait, so... Let me make sure I'm understanding this correctly. So they'll fight to the death, uh-huh. And they'll kill themselves to protect their... The person they're supposed to protect. <clears throat> but then once your escort is dead, you're, you're fair game? You're not considered protected? Anymore? So then the other person can just kill you? Yeah, that is pretty crazy. And what the hell is a nuke grenade? Nasty pieces of work. Basically little dirty bombs they make out of TNT and radioactive sludge as you can find in leaky barrels around the canyon. Not a pretty way to go. Alright, so what's this tribute? 
These religious types can never say anything plainly. It's just their version of a toll. Tell me about the Temple of Titan. Like I said, it's a pre-war nuclear missile silo. Birthplace of the apocalypse itself. Is that the kind of place you want a group of batshit cultists in charge of? Tell me about the Diamondback Militia. We're lawmen, just like you. We want to keep the peace, maintain order, punish the a-holes that try to take advantage of the weak and defenseless. Raiders, slavers, the bad monks, bad dudes. So how does the DBM plan to get the canyon in order? Now that's the right question, Rangers. Good, good. I can't give you all the details now, but my CO is cooking up a plan to take Titan out of the picture. Trouble is, I think it'll need to be an inside job, which means only someone the monks trust can pull it off. And I'm thinking you've got some very trustworthy faces and a good rep. We just need to be sure about your skills. What would make you sure we're the ones for the job? The DBM likes to play its cards close to the vest. No one in the canyon knows where we've set up shop, and we like it that way. We've done a hell of a job keeping our base's location a secret. If you can crack that nut and find our HQ, I think we'll know you're the ones for this mission. That's all I can tell you for now. We're keeping this on the QT in case you don't work out. In fact, only me and my CO knows about our little chat here. So if you see other DBM in the canyon, they'll treat you like any other potential threat. Just a word of warning. Smartass level 5. I do believe I have that. Actually, do I have Kissass? No, I think I have Kissass level 6. Yeah, Kissass level 6. But I think I have Smartass level 5. Yep. That's all you can tell us? You don't want to leave this to luck, do you? Just give us a clue to set us on the right track. Hmm. You're right. Doesn't prove much if you just stumble into our front door. Alright, how about this? Take this key. You'll know where to use it when you see... Gadsden's Mark. That flag will open doors for you. Gads... Gadsden's Mark. I'm gonna write that down. Gads... Mark. There we go. The safe zone doesn't seem very safe. See, I knew we'd have the same outlook. Really, a meeting of minds. The Diamondbacks feel the same way about the canyon. Under our control, we'd keep it nice and tidy. The way you rangers do out in western AZ. We might have to collect a small toll from travelers for basic expenses, but the canyon would be open to everyone and free of raiders, badgers, and religious wackos. The only problem is Titan. Okay. I really don't trust you, but I don't trust the religious wack. Uh, wackos either, so... I don't know. I'm certainly not just going to take his word for it that they're... trying to do good things. Because I have no reason to believe that he's actually telling the truth. For all I know, they're just going to... be a group of... well, basically raiders. Bandits. Oh, the cows are scared of me. Outpost 2, come in. Go ahead, Outpost 2. 10 4, Titan Base. Saw our lurkers again, and again. Nothing there when we went to look. You know, I'd really appreciate it if you sent out a full team to investigate. Sorry, Outpost 2. Our brothers are sending themselves to the Great Glow faster than we can recruit new ones. We just don't have the manpower. 10-4. Making me nervous is all. Well, keep up your reports and we'll keep logging them. 10-4. Outpost 2. Out. So people are blowing themselves up faster than they can recruit. Okay. 
That's not good. <clears throat> oh, that's a hard lock. Damn. Ooh, I have a trinket for this, do I not? Yes. Is there any special description for this faded floppy disk? Nope. Faded five and a fourth inch floppy disk. Alright, should I finish up here? So let's see, I went there, I went there. Yeah, let's check this out here. Because I feel like this is probably going to be a dead end. Monitors. Don't seem too tough. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother bursting my shots or anything like that. No need. Come closer. Maybe I can hit three with one. Oh yeah, I think. Uh... Actually, I do have a new shotgun. It's got a wider cone. Can't even hit two at the same time. Unless I was to do this. Beautiful. How much sniper ammo do we have? Eh, we got a bit. I'm still not gonna waste it though. And how much energy weapon ammo do we have? A lot. Ooh. Oh, right, the threshold is three, and they have three armor, so no, that's not a good thing. Okay, I have just enough AP to hit it twice. Can I just hit it? Yeah, I can just hit it on the corner without killing my teammates. Do you want some more candy? Candy. Here's a tail. Yay, candy! Oh, it's actually not a dead end. Oh, it leads me around the back of these people. So I suppose if I maybe wanted to kill them, I could use this to my advantage. Are they going to try to... Wow, that guy's flashing in and out of existence. Hello, my spectral friend. 
Are they going to try to kill me if I come up around them? I mean, they just wanted to talk to me. Hello? Oh. How'd you get around us? It'll teach you... Oh, okay. Oh! So I just pissed off the entire order because I didn't pay them tribute. I didn't know this is where I was supposed to pay tribute. Fuck that. I was just exploring. I wasn't trying to avoid the tribute. Oh, oh damn it! <laughs> I clicked... <laughs> I clicked expecting them to go the uh, the way I came from, but of course they went the shortest route. What are you doing? You can't go that way, can you? Oh, there's a ladder. All right. What do you want for tribute? Keep your hands where I can see them, citizen. Or the church police and we're enforcing Titan's tariff. You owe us some serious... whatever that said. You look like a crazy mofo. Is that a hockey stick? With this CD hanging off the front of it? Salt's uniform has seen better days. It's safety pinned to get together. And he has no badge. He's also unshaven and smells like the back end of a hyena. We're the church police, and it's our job to enforce the rules. The law says you have to have a monk escort to travel through the valley, and seeing as you ain't got no mad monk. Please don't call us that. I'm afraid the young ruffian is right. Those traveling the Canyon of Titan are only protected if they have an escort from the servants of the Mushroom Cloud. Those with one are defended under any and all circumstances, no matter how distasteful they are. So, yeah, we got ourselves a little problem here. Lucky for you, we're authorized to let people pass for a small tribute. So what's it gonna be? Pay up? Or piss off? Please do as they say. I am bound to protect even these barbarians. With lethal force. Okay. So, Brother Jones doesn't want to kill us on behalf of this crazy asshole. Okay, we'll pay. Okay. What, what do you want? I don't know what you want. <clears throat> um, <laughs> do you want some lipstick? Here, some lipstick and a Chia Pet and a jar of pickles. I'll take tribute. I'll take tribute that... Wait, I'll take tribute that off your hand... What? I'll take tribute that off your hands, then. And you're cleared to pass, or whatever. Okay. That's all it took. A Chia Pet, some lipstick, and some pickles. Tell me about Titan's Tariff. Hey, it ain't cheap to keep the safe zone safe. You're just paying for services rendered. Sure. It really doesn't seem safe. I mean, a bunch of raiders just got murdered by a bunch of freaking badgers. I can ask about the tribute, but I already just paid the tribute, didn't I? The monks only take food or medical supplies. We're not so choosy. We'll take whatever you got. Okay. Well, I already paid, so... Tell me about the safe zone. This whole canyon is protected by the monks. And us, the church police. Who are the mad monks? Anything new here? Please, that is an insulting name. We prefer... Sheesh, don't you know nothing? The monks of the law around here. The servants of the mushroom cloud. Yep, yep, yep. Nobody fucks with the monks. Okay. See if they'll tell me what Titan is. It's the monks of God. Mm-hmm. Some kind of big bomb. Yep. I already know Titan's a bomb. Brings all worthy to the great glow to be renewed in con conflagration. 
What is this great glow? That's some monk business. Something about dying from nukes. Okay. Tell me about the servants of the mushroom cloud. Just told you that I know. Make sure, yeah. So, by the way, how come you don't have any badges? Badges? We don't need no stinking badges. We're the church police. Okay, you're fucking crazy. Could I talk to Brother Jones over here? Do nothing rash, Rangers. These <clears throat> men are under our protection. Harm them at your peril. You're protecting the coyotes? They're raiders. These men have paid tribute to Titan, and therefore I am escorting them to the hospital at our temple, so their wounds can be seen to. Hmm, what have you heard about the monk's temple? Uh, the hospital. Any who pay tribute to Titan may make use of it. Our physicians are the most skilled this side of the Rocky Mountain, and use the most advanced pre-apocalypse technology. If you are ill or hurt, we can help. Good to know. Yeah, I'm curious, what do they think of the Desert Rangers? The servants of the Mushroom Cloud respect you, Rangers, and honor your fine reputation. But these lands are under our protection. You have no authority here. Understood. Whoa, I can threaten to arrest the raiders? Let's not do that. Goodbye. Outpost 2 calling Titan base. Outpost 2, go ahead. Just let Clyde through. Water truck's on the way. 10-4 Outpost 2. Good to hear. Report log. That guy sounds like he's really high. The guy on the radio. Report logged. Brother Chavez? Ch Chavez? Chavez? You are rangers, yes? Good. I require trustworthy men. Listen, you must go to the outpost... You must go to outpost one, just east of here, and tell Brother Franks that Brother Chavez has a large amount of tribute, and requests a cart to carry it back to the temple. I cannot go myself. I must guard the crates or someone might try to steal them again. You understand? Good. Now please, go quickly. Uh... I noticed there's an explosion here and a bunch of people that are crispy critters. And you mentioned that somebody might try to steal them... again. So I can imagine what happened here. Okay, um, I will go, but where the hell is Outpost 1? Where's Outpost 1? It's the first of our checkpoints along the canyon road, just a few minutes to the east. Please, go there now. <laughs> what created this crater? I already know. Okay, I'll go. He's certainly full of himself, isn't he? Yes. So, if I open this up, he probably wouldn't be very happy with me, right? I'll brand with Coulson Firearms Gunmakers. Okay. Alright. Let's Can't find the. Thank Colin Sidewinder. Report. This is Sidewinder. Yeah. Ooh, what's going on? Oh, here we go. Suicide bomb. Target under oh god! 10 4. Good job Take protecting her, out. you idiot! You blew up her legs! The fuck? Um. This woman's clothes are burnt and her bare legs have been cooked to the color and texture of fried chicken. Ew! She wants me to kill her. What happened? There's no point in asking what happened. You want us to kill you. Okay. 
Wait, wait, wait. But please, there's a locket. If you go to DeMonta, look for a man, David Barnes. Give him the locket. Tell him I was coming after all. Okay, assuming this doesn't actually get marked down as a quest, I'm going to write this down. David Barnes. Locket. DeMonta. I can't use my surgery skill to help you? I mean, I can't put your legs back, but... Hold on. Can I... No. Fuck. Again I have to do this? I actually gained XP for killing her? That's grim. Okay. Very, very bad at protecting the people that pay tribute, apparently. They blow themselves up, but without thinking about who maybe is in the blast radius. She's got a D20 on her. Okay. What the hell was that raider thinking, or the bandit, whatever the hell he was? You know, I mean, if he's here, he knows what the mad monks are all about, right? So why would you even do that? You know he's just gonna blow himself up. Fucking idiot. I'm slightly paranoid that by shooting her I may have violated the, the tribute, because she was being protected, but then again, her protectorate blew up, so I think that means she's not really under protection anymore? Or something. Titan base calling. All outposts report. Outpost 1 reporting. All clear. Outpost 3 reporting. All clear. Titan Base Outpost 2, report. Titan Base Outpost 2, report. Titan Base Outpost 2, are you there, Outpost 2? Uh, Outpost... Uh. 10-4, Titan. As soon as Brother Hanson gets back from his escort, I'll send him that way. Wait, what? What are you... what are you doing? What the hell... What is happening? You don't have a monk. I... huh? I'm getting really confused. I paid the tribute. I have to have a monk? Who gives me the monk? Where do I get the monk from? And is this not where I'm supposed to go? To go to Outpost 1? What? I mean... I went every single pathway I could before going this way, and nobody offered me a monk. Am I doing something wrong? Did I miss something? I guess I could have continued up this way. I'm really confused. Um, wait a minute, this isn't the way to go, is it? He told me to go east, to the outpost. East is... A little thing up here. Actually, no. This is east, isn't it? Yeah, this is going east, which is where I just went. So... Huh? This has to be the outpost, right? But then where's, like, the person I'm supposed to talk to? I just see a bunch of fucking raiders. I guess it's further along the way. Okay. I guess I'm gonna kill y'all. Uh, I better kill you before you explode. And hopefully killing you doesn't cause you to explode. Okay, it doesn't hide behind this cactus. Yeah. 
Cacti. So I guess the fact that I don't have a monk with me yet means anybody can kill me and it's not a problem, and I can defend myself... Can I defend myself and it's not a problem? Or am I violating the peace by fighting back? Because they, they are protected by the monks. I don't know. This is confusing. How's their armor? Very low, which means his energy weapon is terrible. Which means you should probably go hide. Holy crap, you can move far. about Yulia. I didn't bother to heal her because I figured she'd level up before I needed to. But that might not be the case. Nice! Damn! Get in there. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Well, good thing I just upgraded my surgery skill. She'll be fine. There's no point in her even shooting. Not with just an energy weapon. Just, just hide. Did the sun just, like, go behind a... Whoa, what the fuck? What is happening? Something's wrong. Some Something's wrong. Also, I can't move the view. Okay. That was weird. I still can't move the view, though. Alright, you fuckers need to die. Why did the camera just, like, disappear? Okay. Some sort of voodoo's going on. I done like it. But, the sun appears to be in its proper place, and so now I can move the camera, so... Cool. Okay, so it looks like they don't blow up instantly. He does realize he's gonna blow up a person that's already unconscious, right? I'm not gonna bother fighting with her. I think I need to move. Oh my god. What just happened? 
did like all of her clothes get blown up? I think all of her clothes got blown up. Oh, in fact, I think all of their holy shit. What in the fuck is happening? Right. Must maintain composure. Everything's under control. Is a terrible, terrible chance to hit. Well, at least our doctor's not down. I know this won't do much, but it feels good. And it's time to die. Let's just guarantee that. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna figure out the mystery of what happened to our clothes in a minute here. Hopefully I don't need to buy totally new ones. Shit, she's bleeding. Actually, I don't have any suture kits, do I? No, I don't. Shit. Can't wait till I get through these tiny medic bags. That should be good enough. Okay. Where's your clothes? That's weird. She doesn't have the old dried skin look now that she's not wearing that top. Her skin changed because of the top? That's really weird. So her, her clothes just got blown up, didn't they? Great. All right. Yeah, her her skin turns all leathery when she puts that on. What the hell? This is so weird. Well, I don't really have any more pairs of clothes. It's funny because the clothes I chose were actually what I chose during character creation, but they're not permanent. It just decides what goes into these slots. So, now they look completely different, which is weird. Theodore and Harper are also missing their clothes. Shit, I'm never gonna find those exact pieces of armor, like, ever again. Alright, whatever. Could use a... a suntan, I guess. Do I have any spare clothes? I don't think I really do. Maybe I should keep that stuff. I've always sold it, but... Oh wait, here's something. Stockings and garters. I don't even know what that is. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. I'll stay with my underwear. Okay then. All things considered, that didn't go too bad. Copy Ranger, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Six skill points. Where should that go? Can actually upgrade safe cracking. 
already at level 8, though. That's really high. Hmm. I'm missing mechanical repair, right? Now the Takayuki's gone. I am. So I could go for mechanical repair. I almost kind of just want to replace her, though. I don't really want two snipers, but then again, she is my safe cracker extraordinaire. I don't know. I'll save her points for now. Okay, the, the mad monks better not want to kill me after this, because I was just defending myself. There's a toaster. Of course, it's impossible. My party, my party suddenly feels hilariously ill-equipped because we just lost Angela and Pazeppi with her energy weapon is situationally very good, but in this situation, completely useless. there's anything hidden around here, depending on which way you look. You like to do that sometimes. Hide a box under the steps or something. No, that's it. Okay. Titan base, this is Outpost 3. Come in. Go ahead, Outpost 3. 10-4, Titan base. Just had to kill another robot out here. Don't know where they're coming from, but this is the second one this week. Hmm. Copy that, Outpost 3. Any casualties? Just one. Brother Darius blew himself up to stop it. May Titan bless his passing. May he become one with the great glow. Sending you Brother Noble as a replacement. Ten four. Outpost 3, out. So the robots, yet they're realizing the robots are encroaching upon territory where they previously did not exist. They're coming. Okay, so I think this is the outpost. I just want to make sure that they're not going to try to kill me because I blew up the monk bombers. I was just defending myself. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, seems like we're good. Alright, that was weird. That was really weird. And now half of our party is naked. Actually, more than half our party if you consider the Night Terror, who has always been naked. Well, that was an eventful little run there. I'm still kind of confused as to how the whole monk blowing people up and when you're in the wrong and when you're in the right thing works, but... Looks like if you just defend yourself, you generally can't go wrong. The fact that this guy has his knife out is a little bit disturbing. This guy's got a grenade out. But I'm sure they're fine. And I'll tell them all about the cache of tributes that they need to go collect in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.